Hey there folks, welcome back to Rob's Nightmares. Today is going to be the very first video in the ABCs of Horror Challenge. We are doing letter A, and the movie that I picked for letter A is Area 51. Now, I want to say this before I start the review. Go check out the Horror Man, Joe, and Jason, Horrific Nightmares JM's channel. I'm going to put their channels in the description. They are also doing this challenge. So Area 51 is a 2015 American found footage science fiction horror film. Boy, that was a mouthful. Found footage. Those are two words that kind of scare people off. Because when it comes to found footage movies, a lot of people are just turned off by them. The Blair Witch Project is the perfect example of a great found footage film. It's one of my favorites. But Area 51 has that science fiction horror aspect to it. And I thought it was done really well. Could it have been better? Of course. But it was directed by Oren Pelly, who did the very first Paranormal Activity which is a found footage about, you know, ghosts and demons. Orrin Pelly actually produced the Paranormal Activity films. He produced the Insidious films. And he also produced one of my favorite found footage films that never gets talked about, probably because people hated it, The Chernobyl Diaries. The movie stars Reed Warner, Darren Bragg, Ben Rovner, Jelena Nick. Produced by Jason Blum and Blumhouse Productions. And it had a limited release. Also through Video On Demand. Came out May 15th, 2015. And it is the second film directed by Orrin Pelly. Now, I feel that the first Paranormal Activity film is way better than this, of course. So it had an estimated budget of $5 million and it only made $7,500 at the box office. It was panned by critics. Go figure. Well, you have three close friends, Reed, Darren, and Ben. They're at a party, and Reed vanishes out of nowhere. Ben and Darren try to locate him, and they can't find him, so they leave. They're driving home down this, like, you know, dark, narrow road, and there is Reed, in the road, looking like he's just staring at something. He's not acting like himself. One could say, okay, is he drunk? Um, but he's looking at something. In this scene, you know, it happens in the beginning. And when it, when it happens, it's kind of weird. Because you're not really given an explanation. Until the movie progresses, you kind of, I guess, understand a little bit. But... It's just weird that it kind of started off this way, but something's going on. Something is drawing him away. But after this happens, Reed becomes fascinated with aliens in Area 51. I mean, who isn't? Area 51, okay? That is a place that gets the attention of the you know entire world. We all want to know what's in Area 51. Is it the Independence Day aliens? I mean, what's in there? You know, Indiana Jones got to go in there. It's not fair. I've always been fascinated with Area 51. You know, is there aliens in there? Are there spacecrafts? Are they working on some kind of secret uh, ship or something? Like, what's going on in there? Top secret stuff. There is a gate at Area 51 where if you cross the gate, they can use deadly force on you. They got the camo dudes in the white truck that sits on the hill. They got sensors. All kinds of stuff out there. But it's a real place. It's a real gate that has the sign. There's YouTube videos of people driving up to that sign taking pictures. And it's just fascinating. That's one of the places that I want to go to. It's like 13 miles to the main or from the main road to the sign. It's like 13 miles on like a gravel road or something like that. But they actually film there for this film. So that's really cool. But he becomes so fascinated with planning to infiltrate Area 51 and uncover the secrets. 
again, who doesn't want to uncover the secrets about what's going on in there? So you're introduced to a character named Jelena, who is a conspiracy theorist. And her father supposedly worked at Area 51. They have all this evidence on what to do to get past all the security at Area 51, which I think is pretty awesome. They get their hands on this equipment to break into Area 51 to get past all the security. They're using signal jammers, night vision goggles, Freon laced jumpsuits to be able to hide their ammonia levels. Um, And they take these pills, which also help with that. It's just, it's like really technical, but it's so cool. Like how much security is at Area 51? You know, they try to sneak around the main gate and go where there's like a countryside, uh, like hills and stuff. And there's like sensors, you know, right there where you walk. It seems like you could just walk right into the base if you go around. But there's like sensors over there, too. So they try to get past those. And it's just really cool how they do it. But before they get ready to investigate Area 51, they have to get a badge. Now... This security badge will let them go into basically any door they want to. It's a high security badge. Jelena's father basically tells them to investigate a guy who works there that has that badge. Now, this is probably one of the most intense moments in this film is when they break into this guy's house. And the guy comes home and he has a family and they're in the house sneaking around trying to find the badge. And they need to get out of the house. They actually grab the badge and they're trying to get out of the house without waking anybody up. And I love that part because there's several moments where you don't think they're going to get out and like something's going to happen. And um, it's just, I don't know, it's just really, it leaves you on the edge of your seat. At least it did me. Once they have that, they can use all their technical getup to get past the security of Area 51 and then use that badge to get inside and also access multiple doors in there. Now, I don't want to spoil what happens when they get inside of Area 51, but what I want to say here is I like the mystery of it. There's certain things that they show and there's certain things that they kind of pan away from. Things start to happen. Things start to go wrong, not just with the security of the place, but whatever they're doing inside that building comes out. I was okay with it. If they would have shown more, I would have been fine with that, but I was okay with what we have here. It leaves a lot of mystery, and plus it's found footage, so a lot of stuff is not going to seem as clear because the camera's moving all around. There were a couple times where the camera was kind of moving really fast, You just wanted it to slow down so you could see what was going on. Now, that happens typically in found footage films. Um, I just wanted to talk about the pacing of this film, working its way up to Area 51, because that's the big show. That's the whole point of this movie is for them to get inside there to see what's going on. So them working up to that was really, really done well. Like I said, with all the cool technical stuff that they had to do, get the badge, put on the suits, get past security, kind of plan. They, they planned it out pretty well. And there's something that happens at the very end that I was not expecting, but it was actually pretty cool. IMDb has this movie at a 4.3 out of 10, which I think is ridiculous. It is not that bad, okay? I would at least give this movie a six and a half, seven out of 10. I think it deserves that. A 4.3 is just a slap in the face. I think it has a lot more good stuff than bad. Because like I said, this movie was panned. It was panned by critics and by everybody. Anyway, guys, that is my pick for letter A of the ABCs of Horror Challenge, Area 51. Stay tuned for my next video in the ABCs of Horror Challenge which will be letter B. And I'll show you guys the movie that I picked. Again, go check out Joe the Horror Man's video. 
as well as Jason from Horrific Nightmares JM. I'll put their links in the description, like I said. And anybody who wants to participate in this challenge, please do so. Go back and watch my guide video if you're interested on some information about how to do this challenge. It's pretty simple. Um, I don't have a deadline on when you have to have everything done. I just go at my own pace, and so can you. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.